Five Washington Township schools are piloting the Anti-Defamation League of Philadelphia's No Place for Hate program in the 2018-19 school year, voluntarily hosting the self-directed program that is designed to improve and maintain school climates to ensure that all students can thrive. WTTV recently stopped in a few of the buildings to gain a perspective on how this powerful program can profoundly impact our district at all levels of learning. The background on No Place for Hate and bringing it to the district is um, Charlie Zimmerman, who's the principal of Wedgwood, um, and I worked together in a previous school district where we had the program. And it was really, it changed and impacted the culture and environment of that particular school. So when we started here together in the summer of 2016, we applied for No Place for Hate. Um, we're placed on a wait list, and then finally, we were able to pull through and bring it to the community. I asked uh, the principals in the district who would be interested in making that a part of their community for the school year. So the initiative is now in five different schools. So we have Wedgwood, we have Whitman, we have Bells, uh, Chestnut Ridge, and the high school. So it is a great opportunity for us to bring together um, things that already happen in schools um, and, and, and bring them sort of under one umbrella. One of, the, one of the challenges for us as educators is to show students and parents that the various programs that we have in place, they're not disparate. They're all interconnected. And No Place for Hate is a great opportunity for us to do that. Um, it's easy for us to look at the various things that we do here at Wedgwood, like our Olveas program, like our anti-bullying program, the Township Tuesdays that we do, our, our focus on character education, where every month we talk about a different um, you know, character education tenant like perseverance or kindness um, or our, our positive behavior support program, our, our marvelous Mustang program that we have here. It's easy to look at them as, as, as being not connected at all. But in fact, they're all doing the same thing. They're all pushing students towards this understanding that it's important for us to connect as humans to one another. It's important for us to, to build positive relationships. And that's really what No Place for Hate is about. Um, it's about creating a, a, a climate and a culture in a school um, that's inclusive that celebrates differences between people. The goal of the program is really to bring a sense of anti-bigotry um, and, and the, address racism and anti-Semitism. So it's really about students understanding what that is and um, a, a mutual respect for one another, regardless of somebody's background. Um, so. Once we um, decided on the schools where we would pilot the programs, um, we're gonna do a needs assessment and really like tailor it and individualize it based on the needs of the building. Every building's gonna be slightly different and um, they have to bring some initiatives that are completely school-wide and that touch upon not just the students in the community but also staff and parents and we really want to bring this to Washington Township you know completely to all of the schools this just gives us an opportunity to pilot in the five uh, areas the five different you know buildings at this point. When Jennifer Grimaldi was able to get us the program here to, to Washington Township, I told her that I'd be happy to pilot it here at one of the middle schools um, because I knew a little bit about the program from my own children, so I knew I wanted to you know, bring that here. I thought it would be a nice program to bring here. Given my background in world languages and, and working with international relations and, and different countries and cultures, um, it's always been an interest of mine to, to give our best to every single student. And um, this program is a great way, you know, it's, it goes hand in hand with our theme for this year of coloring, to color Whitman with kindness. And I thought that this program, it kind of all fell into line for us. Um, I was involved, I am involved in the Principal's Learning Network with the New Jersey Department of Education and happened to be meeting with um, my fellow principals um, up at the College of New Jersey as this was evolving. And the topic of what we were, what we're working on is, is equity in schools. So it was kind of uh, fate in a way that uh, the email came across uh, with this information from the Anti-Defamation League and, and looking for um, schools to be involved in No Place for Hate because the timing, it's like the stars aligned because we're, you know, we're working on Color with the Kindness, part of our Principal's Learning Network is working on equity and the email came across looking for schools to be involved um, in promoting you know, kindness and and acceptance and working together and building community and I thought this would be a perfect way to 
to work with uh, with our school theme and to really give students um, you know memorable events and, and things to take place over the course of the year to help them to always be good people. The implementation is done by a coalition, a team, and that team is really going to be overseen by the school climate and school safety team. And that's a team of people, it's teachers, it's administrator, it's counselor, the SAC, um, different community members, and they'll be a part of this to decide what initiatives they can bring to the building that is tailored to their needs and um, what kind of things um, they want to continue beyond the school year too. No Place for Hate looks at you know what you begin with but the intention is that you will always do this within your community. We've established our committee which is our you know our school safety team and our No Place for Hate committee and a lot of the main people there are, you know, Jennifer McMillan, our assistant principal, is, you know, a, a big, you know, a big part of what we're doing here, as well as our counselors, um, our anti-bullying specialist, and then our community leaders and some of our key teachers are going to be, you know, key proponents in helping, you know, bring some of the activities in, um, survey students to see how we've done. Um, and, and try to, you know, as we move forward, you know, make changes to make sure every year we're evolving and making sure that we're make, hitting the mark, really, and making sure that we're connecting with the kids and so they get the message. One of the first things that we did was I reached out to our school librarian, Christy Ortiz, and um, we're establishing an area, it's actually up and running slightly, um, in the library f with, with books that are related to um, No Place for Hate, uh, appreciating diversity, understanding others, and we're not just talking about cultural diversity, we're talking about, you know, students who may have a handicap of some sort, um, socioeconomic status, you know, we have all these members of our school community and we want to make sure that every one of those students feels included, accepted, and part of the Whitman community. So uh, Ms. Ortiz immediately jumped right in and started finding some books um, to establish an area of the library where students can come and read. Um, as their schedule allows, um, or even during class at, at some points when they're in the library, where they can choose some books that are focused on these areas so that students are learning early on, we're all the same. We're all in this together, you know, this is, this is our world and we're going to make it what we want it to be, and that's to include everybody and, and have them to be a part of the school community here. So our first activity, which we're looking to do, um, is on October 3rd, we're bringing in Jesse Chris who is um, a 21-year-old singer. Um, she was the Billboard Academy's up-and-coming you know, singer for 2018. Um, and her mission is to go to 100 middle schools and promote her message of anti-hate, anti-bullying, anti-bias. So she's going to come here to help kick off our Week of Respect on October 3rd. Um, we were able to get her through the Association for Middle Level Education, which I'm a board of trustee on, um, and so I was able to contact her, and she's going to be able to come, and she's actually going to do all of our middle schools, uh, but we're able to do it and hopefully use that as one of our activities for our No Place for Hate campaign, so it kind of tied in really well. I think that they're already excited. They're wearing the pins. They have the decals on the doors. As I'm visiting the different schools who are involved, they already have, you know, the the signage and um, the information, and they're be they're able to talk the language um, and and speak about what this means. And it's a visual reminder. So schools are already doing it. Teachers are excited. They're tweeting information. They're sharing it in their classrooms. Principals, you know, are leading this, and and they've. Uh, fully embraced this this idea um, and a lot of it has already been embedded in the communities and embedded in the schools through character education as well this is just um, a constant reminder when we see the no place for hate it's a reminder um, and, and a bit of mindfulness that we could use along with it so we can say oh this is a time to remember what the mission is of the ADL and No Place for Hate, and we want to be able to continue that for years to come. But right now, we're since we're piloting in the five schools, we'd like to bring it to the rest of the district. Um, we asked for initially for the volunteers because uh, we wanted to see you know interest areas, and we were really looking for diverse populations. But the intention is that we want to bring this message to the entire school district and school community. Washington Township has an equity 
coalition already. And this is just a piece under that particular umbrella. Um, because we're moving in the direction of, we're looking at fairness, we're looking at equity, we're looking at teaching tolerance. They're Alveus, you know, Township Tuesdays. These are all different programs that we're already providing. No Place for Hate will just be a component of that. So the idea of um, bringing No Place for Hate and being part of the, the equity um, uh, initiative within the district it, it's just the momentum that we want to be able to continue and um, because we're opening it up to the school community as well um, we want them to be able to um, teach children at a very young age of you know acceptance and respect and kindness and um, that just because you're different doesn't mean it's bad you know the uniqueness of different people and their beliefs and their personalities so that's really what we're looking for in the district and and we believe in it and this is something that we like the entire school community to be a part of school climate is is it reminds me of a quote that I heard um, back when I first began my career in education and it is students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care so I think that that struck me very early on in my career because building relationships with others is the basis for everything when you have a good relationship with your teacher um, with a colleague uh, friends you're more apt to be open to learning new things and having that openness and having that comfort is paramount in learning new things and, and educating oneself. So I think that um, in looking at a school, it's important, and it starts with, with, with me as the educational leader of the building, because you know we have to build morale, we have to you know involve people, and it's very important to, be, important to me to be as encouraging as possible to others. And that starts with the staff, our faculty, our staff, and, and Color Whitman with Kindness was designed by a spirit committee that we put together this past summer. And they have come up with some really great ideas that we're going to be instituting this year um, to just small things to brighten up the days of our colleagues, of our students. And I'm looking forward to seeing what that does because it does begin with school culture. Students feel safe at Whitman Elementary School. They feel valued at Whitman Elementary School. And I attribute a lot of, um, a lot of the success of our students and our staff and faculty um, to that feeling. They're safe, they're comfortable. They enjoy being here and they want to learn. When you have that, I think that's where the magic really begins. We talk to our staff all the time about building relationships with students. Um, it's a huge thing. If they don't have the relationship, the curriculum's never going to work. Um, so we do different things at faculty meetings. We have our advisory, um, which is a small group to start our day every day. Um, and we try to encourage that in building that relationship, talking to students, not just about academics, but how their day was, you know, how their baseball game was, how their dance recital went. Try to make those connections with students because you need to build that culture and build that relationship with your students in order for any curriculum, you know, before anything's taught. You know, we talk about, you know, you don't just teach you know, math, you're teaching Matthew. You're not just teaching art, you're teaching arty. Um, so we try to make that connection that you're, you're teaching students first, not your curriculum. And in order to do that, you need to build that relationship and then the curriculum will flow. The climate within a school building is, is it's crucial to student success as learners. Students won't learn and can't learn unless they feel safe, unless they feel accepted. Um, and, and even more importantly, it's our duty as teachers not just to educate them in the ways of reading and, and mathematics, but also to teach them the value of building those positive human connections with one another. Um, so No Place for Hate gives us opportunities to do that and have that kind of very active um, conversation with students and, and constant reminders and create kind of a common language and a common understanding of, of how we should be treating one another on a daily basis, both in school and, and in the world around us. I think that our world has changed uh, in the last 20 years. And it's changed in a variety of ways. The ways that we communicate with one another are very different now than they were when I started in the kid business. And if we're not doing our part to make sure that students are connecting 
with one another um, on, a, on, a, on a real level, not a superficial level, um, but, but really developing skills in empathy, really developing skills in um, acceptance and understanding, celebrating diversity, uh, then, then we're, not, we're not doing everything that we could do. We have to acknowledge that there's a need for that now more than ever. Um, and it's my hope that No Place for Hate gives us you know, an avenue to have that conversation with students and for parents to continue that conversation at home.